section 45, the same chapter. The question says, factorize the function f of alpha given by, well, effectively, I should say, actually, given by determinant of this matrix. I never said this explicitly, but if you put a parameter into your matrix, and if you compute the determinant of that matrix, depending on that parameter, the result will be a function of that parameter. In fact, it will be a polynomial function of that parameter. Yeah, it will be a polynomial function of that parameter. It's a little bit harder to predict what, what will be the degree of that polynomial, but by factorizing this polynomial, we can discover that as well. We can also find what the degree will be, even though sometimes you can predict the degree even without even computing the polynomial itself. You will find out in the second semester, I think, that these sort of functions, when you take a matrix, when you introduce a parameter in some entries of that matrix in a special way and you compute the determinant, these sort of polynomials are very important. Some of them have a specific, even the distinguished name, like a characteristic polynomial of a matrix. Well, this one, this one is not a characteristic polynomial of a matrix. It's just a, some polynomial built as a determinant. Uh, it's, again, another, another instance where we have to combine carefully row operations and uh, minor method of computing the determinants. What do I do here? Uh, the first observation is that because my last row has identical elements, I can factor it out. We know if I scale the row by something, it, it is effectively scales the determinant. So my function effectively is, is this one. You see what I did? I just took this element, common element across the last row, and I, and I put it as a common factor in front of my, well, again, the symbol of determinant is missing here. Should be like this. Well, alternatively, I should put the vertical, I mean, like the vertical lines here, if I don't like the right, I, if I don't like writing D, E, T all the time, but right now, as a matter of fixing this slide, D, writing that in front of the matrix is easier for me. Now, what else, uh, what next I suggest? I suggest the following two row reductions. If I do these two row reductions, you see I'm using the, this element as a pivot to vanish these two alphas. If I use these two row reductions, my polynomial takes this form. Right, so if I scale this by lambda and subtract from the second row, one of lambdas will go, one of lambdas will go, so it's zero here. And here will be zero, one take lambda, negative one take lambda. And here's my factorization, in fact, because if I now use this column, as a basis for my minor decomposition. So if I put my cross, I don't have a cross on this slide, I'm not gonna take it from anywhere else. If I put my cross around this one, this minor will stay, and within this minor, because of this extra zero, only this diagonal matters. So the final factorization is like this. This is the one, this is the one in my, in the, at the base of my cross, and this is the value of this minor. So you see, my original function, this function, is a polynomial of degree three. And we discovered the complete factorization of that polynomial. 